Welcome everybody to How Fast Will It Go and today we're dealing with the 2015 Aston Martin DB10. Now this has 1,191 horsepower, 623 pounds feet of torque from a 6 litre twin turbocharged V12 engine and the vehicle itself weighs 2,813 pounds. It's now got all wheel drive and it can do not 16 2.077 seconds and not to 104.171 seconds. So yeah, extremely powerful, really, really rather lightweight, and uh, all-wheel drive should help keep everything in check. Granted, it is raining, but it shouldn't hopefully have too much of an impact on this vehicle. So yeah, let's see what nearly 1,200 horsepower can do. So yeah, this is a racing V12, so that's why it's got a very minimal amount of torque, but it's got plenty of power, and there really isn't that much weight to lumber around, so torque shouldn't be uh, an issue here. So let's choose 10. 20. To 30. To 40. To 55. To 8. Oh dear. It's very tricky at times to work. Look at the speedo and uh, look at the. Uh, the road at the same time, and for whatever reason there's a driver tar stuck in the middle of a barrier. Right, so we've got to 258 at that point, so let's see if we can do any more on this final stretch before we have to turn around. I get the feeling that lack of torque is uh, harming uh, the rate of speed it's going to be able to get to. Right, so 258 is what we've got to beat on the other way around. Let's get around the roundabout. There's no problem in this. Plenty of grip in these uh, tyres, especially since it's now all-wheel drive. Very good acceleration up until about... Uh, to about 200 mile an hour. There is, does seem to be a noticeable drop off after that. Yeah, we're certainly not going to be last place in this series so far with this. Oh god, so much traffic on this game. Seems to be a lot worse than uh, previous Forza games. Forza Rising games, anyway. I mean, I know British motorways are uh, typically clogged up, but you know, it is a game. Could have at least made some, you know, compromises. Yep, 258 is all we're going to get. Granted, it does feel like it can go faster than that, but that's why we limit it to limit the, uh, each episode to two, one run either way and uh, try and get the best out of it. Uh, that's why I won't keep going up and down just to try and get an extra mile an hour. So yeah, 258 mile an hour is not the best that we've had. It does beat the uh, Morgan Aero Super Sports and Austin Healey 3000 Mark III, but it's two mile an hour off the uh, 1964 Ford GT40 and uh, yeah, three mile an hour off the Eagle Speedster. But, you know, it's still relatively good and uh, yeah, it's really, really rather quick in terms of acceleration. Handles it really, really rather well as well. There's uh, no doubt about that. It was going around corners at more than 230, 240 mile an hour at times. So yeah, no problems in terms of dealing with that extra power. It's just uh, the general lack of torque from this uh, V12 racing engine that I think harms it a little bit. Sure, it's got plenty of power, but without that torque to really give it that extra oomph it's uh yeah seems to be lacking somewhat when uh, you get towards the top end but nonetheless 258 is not a bad uh, speed at all nonetheless thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye